Dropping a mongoose on Snake Island. What would happen? Welcome back to the Wild Thing channel. As you know, mongooses are considered to be the number one enemy of venomous snakes. With the ability to dominate cobras, especially with their flexibility and fast movement. Besides, mongoose are endowed with venom resistance. They are not afraid of any snake. Not only a snake, but a big family of snakes. They will defy them all. Sometimes we may see a mongoose and a snake fight on their own. But what if a mongoose was sent to an island full of venomous snakes? Will the mongoose survive? Or will the island no longer have any snakes left in the end? Let's watch this video to see the results, and don't forget to comment your opinion below. I will not make you wait too long. Come to the main content of this video. First, we need to learn a little about the mongoose. The mongoose is a species that lives in the wild, famous for his ability to kill venomous snakes. Despite his small appearance, his sharpness and quickness make other animals living in the same territory very careful. He is honored as a warrior of the steppe when daring to confront even a lion. Although his height is less than 60 centimeters, he makes lions guard against his ingenuity. The mongoose is very good at hiding their fear and shows it only through the state of his tail. So when meeting a stronger enemy, he will threaten with an extremely sharp cry to overwhelm them, and thanks to his small and agile body, he can easily avoid chasing predators. Belonging to the weasel family, a mongoose can emit an extremely unpleasant odor, which makes the opponent suffocate, and it's a form of defense that drives many enemies away. But most notable is the ability to be immune to snake venom. The mongoose is known as an arch enemy of snakes. Even extremely venomous cobra, or the black mamba, with a venom amount per bite enough to kill 50 adult humans, are not an opponent for the mongoose. So when a mongoose encounters a snake, it is like catching a good meal. The mongoose uses sharp teeth and extremely fast movement speed to defeat opponents. Along with that, thick fur has the ability to neutralize the venom of any venomous snake. When in battle, the mongoose continuously goes around distracting and dodging the cobra's attacks very quickly as it just needs to deliver a precise bite. So within less than two minutes, the mongoose has defeated the cobra. A snake that has become a delicious dinner for the mongoose. If the honey badger was once unconscious when bitten by a venomous snake, the mongoose needs only a short rest to recover and return to normal quite quickly. Besides the ability to resist venom, the secret weapon from the mongoose to kill snakes is in its eyes. Before attacking, they will stare the snake down to immobilize them, and then quickly finish them with bites. So what if someone sends a mongoose to a place full of venomous and dangerous snakes? Perhaps it's a common question. First, we need a real-life snake island. Is a place full of venomous snakes real? The answer is yes. Ilha de Quimada Grande also known as Snake Island, is one such place. This Brazilian island, located in the southern Atlantic Ocean, is now considered the most dangerous place in the world, so dangerous as to be absolutely forbidden. The island is famous for being the habitat of the world's most venomous snake, the Golden Lancehead. Although the Golden Lancehead snake is endangered in other parts of the world, there are so many snakes on Snake Island that you can find up to five of these snakes per square meter. The Golden Lancehead can grow to be over a half a meter long 
and their venom is five times stronger on the island than of those same snakes found on land, because they eat only birds instead of mammals. Its venom can cause many problems, from swelling and headaches and vomiting, to bleeding in the intestines and kidney failure, even brain hemorrhage and severe necrosis of muscle tissue. Besides the Golden Lancehead snakes, Snake Island is also home to about 400,000 other snakes, all classified as venomous or extremely venomous. The venom, isolation, and snakes everywhere make this island one of the most terrifying graveyards in the world. However, there are still explorers and crew wishing to visit, but they have to be fully equipped with safety equipment, have a medical team with them, ambulances, heart disinfection machines, masks, on-site physicians are always needed. If you go to this island alone, there is only one ending, and that is death. A mongoose doesn't need anything and can come to the island with his bare mongoose hands. He needs only to be prepared with an hungry stomach to enjoy the delicious fatty snakes. If a mongoose were to come here, he will probably eat and eat and eat. Eat until the end of his life, but still not eat all of the snakes on the island. Perhaps, if he were to reincarnate and eat into the next life, the island will still not run out of snakes. You could drop ten mongooses here. Snake Island will be the place to hold the party. They will eat, and they will gossip, and they will eat some more, and it's only a lack of good wine that might hold them back. If a hundred mongooses were dropped here, the island is still full of snakes. With all of these snakes, you would probably need over a thousand mongooses to be able to wipe them all out. From the mother snake to the baby snake, the grandfather snake and the grandmother snake, old snakes and young snakes may then finally be eaten by the thousand mongooses. Thus, it could be said that if the mongoose is a potential factor that can completely destroy and handle the island of venomous snakes, but there are other conflicting opinions, and it's not certain that even this many mongees can wipe out all of the venomous snakes. Although everybody knows that a mongoose is a notorious snake hunter, he possesses a natural resistance to venom, if accidentally injured during hunting. That is to say, the mongoose might be immune to venom, but that doesn't mean he will have no problem when being attacked by a venomous snake or that it completely defeats that snake's potential. In response to an aggressive attack of a snake, the mongoose ruffles its entire body, making it look twice as large as usual. This way is very effective, because if he is accidentally bitten by a snake, he will likely only be bitten in the fur, without risk of getting venomous bites. As time goes on though, the snake will gradually get tired, and the attack speed slows down. It's at this time the mongoose will start to counterattack. He seizes the opportunity, suddenly jumps up, and bites the snake's neck until the opponent runs out of resistance. Because many people see the scene of the mongoose dominating the cobra, they think that the mongoose is the archenemy of all snakes, that any snake that it encounters will only die. But scientists have discovered that mongooses are only an enemy for some snake species. He deals very well with cobras, because the cobra is actually slower than other snakes, and its teeth are short. Its mouth can only open 450, while other snakes can open their mouths up to 1300. This death causes the cobra to always be defeated. However, if the mongoose encounters other larger snakes, the situation will be different. If those snakes attack the mongoose with speed that is both fast enough and powerful enough, ferocious, compact, and exact, in such a situation, the mongoose can only choose a wise and conservative attitude. Winning against an opponent is not easy, so they withdraw. If the mongoose does not know the amount of strength 
and uses the way as when dealing with a cobra, failure may be inevitable. And the mongoose, while strong in strength, the snake is strong in number. It is not certain who will win. So, the second opinion says, if you dropped the mongoose on the island with thousands of snakes, of course, one mongoose, but hundreds of mongoose will not necessarily win. There are simply too many snakes. How about your opinion? Which side do you support? Please comment and express your thoughts below and we'll discuss. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so we can serve you better and more impressive videos. Thank you.